no, within Paul, the region. What, 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 what do you think? Well, I think we need to remember that of the six projects that the partnership has identified, four are roads, yes, indeed, but two are actually rail and tram. In Blackpool, I'm getting a tramway extension. Can't get much more sustainable than that. And Dave, I think, is right that not all roads are bad. Some which are generating congestion, we do need to try to see if we can reduce that. But not, a, not every road project is a bad one. But we have to rem also remember that we need to promote economic growth. And I'm always concerned that the, that the Green Party is sometimes a bit anti-growth. I don't all. think every road is a bad road. No, we're not anti-economic growth. It's about the type of economic activity we want. And what we seem to be um, having, all the, the, the whole debate is about a globalised economy and everything focused around London. And what we need is more activity within the region, more support for our local economies, and actually encouraging people to travel less, Can, not pandering to this yeah. whole idea that everyone's got to go I, everywhere quicker and for longer. I Let's have the let activity Dave, locally. Dave, I, I don't think that these are exclusive. I think we need better... I, I think we need more transport uh, investment than we've had in the past. And the reason that I've, I'm cynical about the... Uh, high speed too, is it will suck lots of money Absolutely. that could be spent on other things. And we need to address all these things. So we do need roads, we need good airports, and we need, we need good rail systems. But if you see over the last 30 years, most of the investments in infrastructure has gone down south. And we should have had our fair share. And selling the high speed two as a northern scheme, I think, is is t you know extremely unlikely that the benefits will be derived in the northwest and beyond. It's more likely in London well, and Let's and, ask and Paul Birmingham. about that because you're you've been the big supporter of this. Mm -hmm. I mean. It it is often the case that the stronger economic region does better initially from HS2. But what will really make the difference is whether local councils, with their planning policies, their housing policies, their skills policies, are able to take advantage of the opportunities that high speed rail offers. If you look overseas to Europe, the areas that benefited most had the best plans to cope when the time came for the train to open. Okay, thank you.